morning and welcome to ETG's The State of Play, the show where we ask what the hell is going on and when can I go on holiday to Asia again? I'm Sam Clark. I'm the MD and co-founder of Experience Travel Group and I'm joined once again by my fellow co-founder, Melissa Nicholas. Melissa, how's it going? Things looking up uh, for us finally? Yes, well obviously we've had um, great news over the last few days. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to get through it all in 60 seconds today but I'll I'll do my best but yeah fantastic news the last few days. Well as you said you've got 60 seconds for our check-in so uh, take it away. Okay Um, so I think most people will already know that the traffic light system's been scrapped and testing requirements somewhat relaxed for return to the UK for double vaccinated adults and for children Um, but beyond that it was a great week for Asia travel Um, nearly all the countries we saw come off the red list are in the region um, and the news about the Maldives, Oman um, and obviously Sri Lanka was was especially good news for us and and for many other people too. Um, Very significantly all three of those countries are open for visitors and are all also um, fantastic destinations for autumn, winter and spring travel. Um, so, so that was fantastic news. Um, and then whilst all that was making big headlines, I think most people will have heard about all that already. Um, we heard that Thailand's pressing ahead with plans to open up Chiang Mai and Bangkok from the 1st of October. Um, and um, it also made the news that Vietnam is going to open up Phu Quoc Island um, for visitors quite soon as well. So it feels like we've been making these predictions for, for three months or so now and then everything came to be um, in one week. Um, but it's all very positive and it finally feels like travel's becoming a possibility again yeah that's very modest melissa you've been making these predictions and now they're they're coming they're coming home so if we could take you all from the check-in to the departure lounge i'm gonna just ask melissa a few more questions deep dive on some of those points so melissa sri lanka obviously came off the red list that was uh, I, I guess we can say we were pleasantly surprised by that and pleased uh, but uh, will you be arranging a trip to sri lanka for yourself next week um, well, yeah, it, it wasn't such a clear cut case as the other countries, and we were uh, pleasantly surprised. The cases have come down well, but not quite to the extent of the other uh, other destinations. But um, they have cracked on well with the vaccines recently. Um, We've just been talking to our colleague in Sri Lanka and I'd very happily book a trip right now, but I probably wouldn't travel until November time. Um, there's a lockdown in place until the 1st of October and, and weather-wise, it's not, it's not really the best time to go to Sri Lanka now um, either. Um, it's also worth noting that there's um, you currently have to take a PCR test before you go and then you have to take one on arrival. Um, we're hoping the latter will soon be scrapped. But um, yeah, so I definitely consider booking a trip to go soonish, but I probably wouldn't be going next week yeah fair enough now oman was something that you've you said was you know certainty with their level of cases to come off the red list it did come off the red list um it it kind of flew under the radar didn't see much about it in terms of speculation and and so on but um what's your what's your thoughts on oman um yeah, well, Oman, yeah, I, I was pretty certain that one was going to come off the red list. I think they, they're down to about 30 cases a day and it's all its neighbouring countries had um, gone off the red list, Dubai and so on, with, with loads more cases. So it was a bit odd that, that it took so long. Um, in terms of Oman, yeah, I definitely book and go to Oman. It's closer than our other destinations. You can fly direct. We're coming to the perfect time of year to visit. Um, and they actually opened up um, a, a couple of weeks ago. So um, it's a lovely la- laid back and uncrowded destination and, and all about the great outdoors really so it's it's sort of a perfect place to go uh in terms of regulations um you do need to be double vaccinated to go there and you do need to take a negative pcr test to to, uh, uh, produce on arrival um probably the main thing to note with oman is mask wearing is mandatory um so that's something to note but it, it um you can obviously take your mask off once you're at the beach or seated in a restaurant or so on so um but but all round oman um yeah fantastic place to go um and certainly um in the autumn and winter brilliant well that that's good to hear and obviously it is a half term destination so we've got yeah, half great term option coming up. great option for half term yeah which is um which is well worth thinking about if you want to sort of dip your toes in the kind of experiential exciting holiday isn't it because oman really really has everything um, in, yeah. in many ways. So um, good. So moving on, we're back to the Maldives, the only destination that we managed to arrange um, any trips at all to in the last 18 months. Um, Maldives is, is on the red list. What, what's, what's the latest there? 
Um, well, we're about to get a great first-hand insight into this, as of, uh, of course our colleague Becky's going there on her honeymoon next week. She thought she was going to have to cancel it, so we're all very chuffed for her, especially given that she had to postpone and, and rebook her wedding a, a couple of times, so I'm really pleased for her. Um, I'd take a guess that the Maldives probably going to be the most sought after of, of all these destinations now. Um, absolutely idyllic, obviously, um, and also about as socially distanced as you can get. It was, it was sort of somewhat ridiculous that it was ever on the red list, really, as most of the cases were sort of isolated on um on locally inhabited islands that tourists don't really go to um so it's great news um weather's fantastic everything's great really um only need to wear masks on local flights or boats um so you'll get there and just forget about covid completely um don't need to show vaccination status but everyone needs a negative pcr test um before they arrive yeah and it's worth saying when it did come off Previously, when it became, you know, there was a there was a massive rush, wasn't there, in terms of people booking, yeah. um, getting something yeah. there. So we will see it get booked for Christmas, for example, very very quickly, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Brilliant. Well, that's great, Melissa. Thank you for that. Now, if we go from the departure lounge to the section of the show where we say, "Don't quote us," where we give you the insider view from the uh, from the travel industry. So, Melissa, what have you got for us this week? I'm sort of running out of predictions now because everything's uh, come to be. But um, we've heard um, rumours about India reopening. Um, I believe they, I'm not sure it's going to reopen immediately, but they're going to announce when it is going to reopen. So that's good news. Um, and then, uh, don't quote me, but I would say um, flights are going to get very booked up for places like the Maldives um, and Oman and probably Sri Lanka as well. Um, so um, my, my top tip is to get your flights booked. Um, if you want to go there um, because they're going to be pretty popular brilliant thank you very much right we'll now go to our last section where we look at the weather with holly from uh, holidays travel Um, holly how are you hi sam i'm well thank you what what have you got for us on on the weather we're thinking three destinations really to to cover this week people might be thinking about oman Sri Lanka and the Maldives for uh, for for winter and uh, Christmas etc. Yeah, well, um, currently Sri Lanka is in its wet season right now, which tends to clear up come sort of mid-December time, making it an ideal destination for those who do want to get away somewhere tropical for Christmas. And these dry and sunny days across the country last all the way through until around about April or M- and May time. And with the Maldives being just an hour's flight away, it's no surprise that the weather is also great at this time. Um, In fact, the good weather actually starts a bit earlier here with the rains coming to an end around about mid-October. And finally, in terms of Oman, the best time to visit is between October and April when the temperatures are comfortably warm. So it's also a great autumn winter escape. Yeah, brilliant. So the Maldives is is an hour away from... uh from Sri Lanka with, with similar kind of weather, but that, that's pretty reliable, isn't it? And the, water, the, the rain kind of passes over relatively quickly, usually anyway, because there's no height in the uh, in the little islands, is there? Yeah, that's that's correct. So any rain that does um, does come tends to pass very, very quickly with all of the islands being so, so low and flat. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Holly. Um, for more detailed, Holly's, Holly's there to answer questions if anyone wants that. But if anyone wants to be the absolute first to know, if they're raring to go, please do sign up for our email bulletin. So we will be sending out information on what you can do and when um, as soon as it happens. And we've got lots, we've got lots to come now that, uh, that Asia is back on the travel map. So great to have you. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you later. Goodbye.